Today, we are currently facing a pandemic caused by COVID-19. This pandemic changed our lifestyle. Now, we have to wear masks when we go out and keep our distance from others. Talking about the pandemic, did you know in the mid-13th century, there is a pandemic called the Black Death? <laughs> you may be wondering, the Black Death, what is that? Well, the Black Death is also known as the Great Pestilence, the Great Mortality, or the Plague. The Black Death was a bubonic plague pandemic occurring in Africa, Europe, and Asia from 1346 to 1353. <clears throat> it is said that the Black Death is the most fatal pandemic ever recorded in human history, with 75 to 200 million deaths in Asia. North Africa and peaking in Europe from 1347 to 1351. <clears throat> what caused the Black Death? And where is other, where is it originated from? The Black Death or the bubonic plague is caused by bacterium Yersinia pestis spread by fleas. <clears throat> and based on research this plague is originated from China and Inner Asia and it slowly began to spread globally and in 1340s this disease had already struck China, India, Persia, Syria and Egypt. <coughs> this plague arrived in Europe in October 1347 when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. People working at the docks were met with horrifying surprise. Most of the sailors aboard the ships were dead, and those still alive were covered in black boils that oozed blood and pus. Uh, Sicilian authorities hastily ordered the fleet of the dead ships out of the harbor. Unfortunately, it was already too late. The rat that carries the fleas has already spread around the town, around the city. And then the plague started to spread to Italy, France, Germany, and London. Uh, you may be wondering what are, what are the symptoms of the plague is well the symptoms of this bubonic plague is the first and the most famous is called the bubos. The pupus is simply a uh, swelling that has blood and pus it out. And the others is fever, chills, vomiting, diarrhea, terrible edge and pains, and almost always followed by death. And the consequences, the consequences of the black death include a series of religious, social, and economic. Now, how did the Black Death end? Well, the plague never really went away. The plague repeated, rapidly returned to haunt Europe and Mediterranean throughout the 14th to 17th, 17th centuries. The most popular theory of how the plague ended is through isolation. At first, sailors were held on their ships for 30 days, which became known in Venetian law as Trentino. As time went on, the Venetians increased the forced isolation to 40 days, or a quarantino. The origin of the word quarantine and the start of its practice in the Western world. Meanwhile, the uninfected would typically remain in their homes and only leave when it was necessary, while those who could, who could afford to do so would leave their more densely populated areas and live in greater isolation. Improved in personal hygiene uh, are also thought to be have begun to take place during the pandemic. Uh, alongside the practice of cremations rather than burials due to due to the sheer number of the bodies. Now, does the black, the black plague still exist? 
The answer is yes. Bubonic plague still occurs throughout the world and the, in the US, with case in Africa, Asia, South America, and the western areas of the North America. Modern sanitation and public health practice have greatly mitigated the impact of the disease, but have not eliminate, eliminated it. <coughs> While antibi well, antibiotics are available to treat the plague death, according to the World Health Organization, there are still 1,000 to 3,000 cases of this babanic plague. And this is my informative speech. Thank you.